you are welcome to my channel in this video we are told to reproduce a figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency the way you can start one of the ways you can start in reproducing this figure is to start from the inside out right from the what from the center now if you look at this center here right to get a center you just have to draw your horizontal line this way i'll do it in the name of a center line right so you just draw first let me just start with a horizontal line this way you can see that and um, a vertical line this way which you can also see so in doing that we're having this point as our center now if you look at that the first circle inside you see the inner circle at the center has a diameter of what 32 right so i'm going to use 16 which is the radius to get a diameter of what 32 so i'm going to use my meter rule i'm going to measure uh, that is 16 this is 15 and this is 16 here i'll place it at the center here and i'll draw a line which i am going to take in you can see that now the next thing i'll do is the second circle the outer circle which is given at the diameter of what 50 just like you can see here right and i'll take half of it in order to get the radius which is what 25 So I'll place it here and I'm going to draw it again which I'm going to take in. Now I have gotten the other circle. Now the next thing we are going to draw is that from this point here to this point here which is 45 and that is the center of these two circles here if you can look at it right I'm going to place I'm going to draw a line of 45 from the center that is from here to this point here i'll measure 45 this way from this point so this is 45 from here right and i'm going to measure it to this point that is 45 at that point i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way so this line is marking the center of my two circle right so at the center of the two circle this two circle here from here to 45 and the distance between both of them is what 75 right so i'm going to measure half of it so half of 75 will be will be 37 point what 37.5 so i'm going to measure 37.5 this way from here to this point is 30 35 37.5 here right and i'll place it at this point where they meet i'm going to mark the left and also I'll mark the right so it means that from here to here is 75 which is from here to here so that is marking the center of that circle and if you look up here we are told that we have five bosses which is diameter 25 each and these two circles here this circle and this circle are two of the five bosses and we have diameter of 25 so I'm going to use half of it which is 12.5 so I'm going to measure 12.5 this is 0 this is 10 this is 11 this is 12 and 12 I'm in between here right and I'll place it at this point here at the center here and I'm going to draw a circle which I will tick in I'm going to tick in that circle this way you can see that I'll come here also. I'm going to take in the circle too. You can see that? Now there's a line. This line you see is just joining these two circles tangentially. So I'll use or join the two circles tangentially. Just draw a thick line from here straight down to here. 
you can see that now the next thing is there's another circle here this circle and this circle both of them are inclined at an angle of what 15 degree to the center line x of the what of this figure this is the center line here and the two circles are inclined at what at 15 degree so if you want to draw out the 15 degree there are many ways you can do that you can use your protractor and also you can use your what your um your set square right now if i place it this way if i place my set square like this on my t square and i move it to this point this line i draw this way this is 30 degree whenever your set square is in this manner or your t square the angle the inclined line is what is 30 degree right i'll do it in both sides this way now this is 30 degree from here to here so let me just see here is 30 degree and here is also what 30 degree what i'm actually looking for is 15 so that means if i bisect this point and this point right let's call this point let me just do that let's say here is what my a and here is what my b so if i bisect point a and b i'm going to get half of 30 which is what 15 degree so when i place my compass here at any given radius at this point i'm going to strike an arc i'll come here also i'm going to strike another arc this way right so the angle where they meet they meet at this point here and i'll draw a line from the center of this figure so this is my 15 degree that okay i'll do the same thing at the other side also which is this bisect from this point right i'll draw a line this way and i'll come here also i'll do this this way the way they meet i'll draw a line that will pass through that point you can see that so this is what we have so these two lines you're seeing they are 15 degree now the next thing i'm going to do is that the two circle I want to get the center of that circle. I've already drawn the line of 15 degree. So I need the center in which I can draw my circle, right? Now if you look at this arc here, this arc you're seeing, this arc you're seeing, the radius is what is 60, and the arc forms the center of that circle. So I'm going to measure a radius of 60 on my meter rule from here to this point here is 60, right? And I'll place it at the center here. And I'll draw an arc this way. Let me just do it a long, short, long, short this way. Now, what do you notice? It is meeting at this point here. Let me show you. It is meeting at this point here. So it means this is my center. Let me just stick in it to save time. So this point it meets is my center one. And also here is another center too. This is another point it made. Don't forget, these two circles is another um that is another two of the five bosses. This is one, this is two. So if I should draw this, this will be three and this will be four, right? So it's the same radius because it says five bosses having a diameter of what twenty-five. So diameter of 25, radius of 10.5. So it's the same radius. So you just measure 10.5 on your meter root, which is what I'm picking up from here. And I'll place it at this point, the center here. I'll draw another circle. You can see that. I'll draw another circle. I'll come here also. I'll draw another circle. You can see that. And the last one is at the tip here. And I'll draw another circle here. Which is this now I have successfully drawn this out which you can see at this point here so these are the five bosses one two three four five just like you can see in the diagram displayed at the at the right hand side of the screen now the next thing I'm going to do is that if you look at now there's some arc that are joining each of the circle. This is one of the arc. This is another of the arc. This is another arc and this is another arc. Joining both of them tangentially. 
right no and i told you in my previous video that whenever the arc is going in it means the circle is what is external and you're going to add the radiuses please don't forget that whenever it is going in just like the way it's going in like a pothole like so it means that what the circle is what is internal is, um, is external and you're going to add the radiuses you know pothole you feel pothole so remember the word i am feeling when you are feeling means you are adding so you're going to add the radius now the rate that we have here that we have here is given to be 40 look at this 40 and this object you are seeing is symmetrical when i mean symmetrical what you see in the left hand side just like this is equal to what you see in the right hand side just like i showed you here right so each of these points here each of this arc has a radius of what 40 40 right now that um, and we have how many we have one two three four four arcs so what you do is you add the arc of the circle the arc plus the radius of each of the circle so let's take two for instance the rest of this circle is what is 12.5 right so radius 12.5 plus the radius of the arc is what radius what 40 so radius 12.5 plus radius 40 that give us radius what 52.5 now i'm going to measure radius what 52.5 on my meter row Put this it at this point and this is 50 this is 51 52.5 somewhere around here right now it is easy i'll not place it at this point this center point here i will strike an arc right you can see the arc i'm striking i'll come to the other point too also this point here here i also strike another arc so where they meet We'll be representing the radio, the center for my radius of what 40. So when I place it here, I'll get it to this point here, the circumference of the circle, ensure that it is tangential to the other one here. Are we good? You ensure that it's tangential to the other one here, and you just join this way. You can see that now. Similarly. What you need to understand is, I use this, since they are symmetrical, I use this, right, to get this arc here. You can see this arc. I'll place it here. I'll also get this arc here. And also, I'll place it here. Since they are the same, I'll get the other arc here. I'll get this arc here too. I'll place it here. I'll get the other arc here. Since they are symmetrical, that's why I'm repeating it. So from here also get this arc. And from here also I'll get this arc. Because it is symmetrical. And this 40, the arc here is 40, meaning that the arc in the other point two is 40, so they are all the same, so they are symmetrical. So if you notice that I use this to get 40, the same 40 I place it here to get the other 40 here. Is that the case now? So we move forward. Now if I now come at this other center here too, which will be representing my center of radius 40, I'll place it at this point. And I'm going to draw my arc. You ensure that it is touching the circle tangentially. You need to be very careful. Place it at the center, this is the center here. So you need to be very careful to ensure that it is what tangential. Do I get it? Now touch, touch, tangential to it. Right. I'll come to this point too. I'll do the same thing. Come to the center too. Come to the same thing. You're going to get it. See what we have here. Now we have produced this. That again. So it means that uh, the radius, according to the diagram, the radius from here to here. 
is given as what? As just 40. Right? And we have uh, this center here. So let me just complete that. Because we successfully drawn out the shape that we want. So the next thing is to put because it says reproduce. So whatever you see, you draw it out. Including the dimensions. Including what? Dimension. Right, so including the dimension, this is also here. I have this long shot, long shot. You can see that. So we know that from here, from here to this point, from here to here. Even at 75 right and what else again do we have from here to this point here given us 45 that's 45 so we have the center line here a long shot long See that then the next thing is the radius of what 60 which is this here from here to here the radius of what 60 radius 60 right then the next one we have is the angle of what 15 degree that means from here to here is 15 degree right then um we have a radius of 50 from here to here. That means this. Diameter of what? 50. Then the inner one here. Diameter of what? 32. So, what else do we have here? And we have five buses. You just do everything that you see here. We have five buses. Five buses. Diameter 25. So, this is what we have. And we have uh, successfully replicated the diagram, as you can see on the screen. So, if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.